Hello, um, I want to come to you today with a video about um, some things that I've been noticing. I am, I've joined this app online, I don't want to tell you which app it is because it doesn't matter, but people sing, dance, and they do skits, and it's very funny, very hilarious. Um, and I've noticed a few things about it, it's brought some things to, m to my attention, and it's it was encouraging, you know, to me, I think if it was, if I was maybe a different place in my walk, I don't know if I'd be encouraged by it, but uh, I don't want it to be discouraging, but this is what came to me as I was, you know, fellowshipping on this app, and people were singing beautiful, original so songs about Jesus Christ, and about them overcoming, uh, Oh, sorry, I thought my video was off. Oh my goodness. Overcoming certain trials, certain things in their life, um, situations, uh, people, um, desires. I've seen so many people overcoming sexual immorality. I think I've seen like five people last night. This was the testimony. They were coming live and they were working people through who happened to be in their same community through this, this, these things with the Holy Spirit guidance saying, hey, if you lean on God, you ask for the Holy Spirit, you ask for its guidance, you ask for its uh, and, um, so, uh, strength, you will receive, right? Knock on the door will open, seeking you shall find, you know? So uh, they're very sincere. They talked about how depression had overcome their life no matter, you know, how much of their way they got, they were still depressed, and no matter how much they changed and transformed into what they thought they should be, they were still depressed. So, um, uh, I also wanted to talk about how, when I'm looking at these cute videos and stuff, I noticed that some people figured out, I think, they figured out the algorithm, where they understand that if you put two or three Christian videos in there, you're going to get more people, more followers, but the rest of their stuff is all cussing, cursing, yelling, I mean, you can't even have the video playing because it's all cussing, cursing on like, on like 10, with the voices really loud, everybody in the house hears their cuss words, and so, um, and I'm also noticing some of these Christian skits and stuff actually has have cuss words in it. So it makes it extra kind of interesting to me because uh, I felt like I was spoken through that, seeing that, where I actually had to start looking at what all they were doing, like in their profile, seeing all the videos. And they'll have hundreds of very, I guess you could say, maybe the word is vulgar, um, videos, and then they'd have one or two Christian ones. And the Holy Spirit, you know, came in like, you know, like a, like a breeze on a beautiful day and was like, and that is, th that's, that's fruit. That's like, you can see if, if people are naturally attracted and are, and find that the, you know, the Bible and its words and its truth is sweet. Um, or if it's just kind of like a side thing, like it's a, um, what would you say? A side dish. It's the fries to the burger or something like this. Um, that's the only explanation I can find for it. Um, so, uh, what that revealed to me was, uh, the, the truth, many different verses that speak on how sweet the word of God is and how you, just like you need your coffee in the morning, you, um, you start to learn to like, to want to know more and more and more about, just like with the Google, you like to get on Google and figure it out, somebody has a question, you figure it out, and that's what happens spiritually, where all of a sudden it becomes what you revolve around, so you can look in people's profiles, just like maybe God can like upload our heart, and see what our heart is really doing, what it's about, and you know, how many rooms in the heart are dedicated to knowing Jesus, loving Jesus, loving the word, and how many little, you know, empty rooms in there that have yet to be filled or filled with things that are maybe idols. So, um, I'm noticing that there was a time in my life where I think I was the star, you know, the sun, that everything revolved around. And if ever I felt sad or was going through a hard time, that's when I allow Jesus, who I obviously had revolving around me come into my atmosphere and I'd pull on him and say I need you right now but then I let him go and he'd go off into his orbit whereas there's a that's the pro that's what happens on this app you can see that they are the star and Jesus is just in their atmosphere like occasionally whereas now Jesus is my star he is my son you know as an SUN <laughs> and he 
he's always pulling on me and it just naturally happens so I think that there is the difference and I believe that's you know um, I'm gonna go ahead and oh you know what this is I said it was fruits of the spirit but I think it's gifts of the spirit Oh, okay, here it is, the fruits of the Spirit, okay. Uh, but the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, uh, f faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against these things there is no law. Those who belong to Jesus Christ have crucified the flesh with its passions and desires. Since we l live by the Spirit, let us keep in step with the Spirit. Let us not become conceited, uh, provoking, and envying each other and now you can also look at these videos I watch KJ's what's happening so if you put into YouTube KJ's what's happening KJ what's happening it's very cool he has these random videos that he gets offline and random information that I just find so very interesting but some of the most of the videos you'll see um, a trend of people's hearts going cold right and that means that you know like for example some guy was at Disney and he sits down he eats with his family some lady walks over and says this is my table she sits on the table she throws a fit they both fight it's just easier just to let her have the table I mean why can't you just gift the lady the table why not be the generous person and just gift her the table and say you know you're right let's just pick up our stuff and go right and so you know, there's something about us where we feel like we're the more important up into other people's lives, up into other people. You know, I mean, right now I think it's just like, well, maybe it is up until people's lives, actually. Um, but it's like outside of things we lo we believe are when we put value on stuff, like we value something, we don't want anybody to take it and we'll take a life in order to keep that something. That means there's something about us. We're conceited, we're... we're um, we believe are what we put value on something it, it's um, then it is the true value uh, we will do it will hit a person to protect a car you know um, it's just almost like we got things backwards you know I don't know how else to explain it except but, but, but I, I do think the core of that is an absence of the gifts of the spirit which of course comes with the Holy Spirit um, and uh, you know us needing to have our own way you know right down to how we interpret the Bible we we uh, I was reading uh, on this, this is how I got back on this app is because of some controversy between um, a reverend and and a, and a pastor and um, I noticed people on there were like yeah you know <laughs> these these Christians and these are people who are Christian they believe that there's only one way to you know think or to believe why would Jesus say, I'm the way, the truth, and the life, if there was multiple ways? If there were multiple ways, if there were multiple interpretations, why would he give you the Holy Spirit? And then, it doesn't just offer you, like, the knowledge, which is one of the gifts, but it also offers <laughs> the ability to walk in step. Meaning, you won't just be given the understanding, but you'll also be walking and acting as if you are a representative of the kingdom clothed in white, given in the armor of God as well. I mean, the Holy Spirit comes with a lot of amazing things. And you can see, obviously, I did a video on the confirmation of the Holy Spirit, um, even in the book of Exodus with, with uh, Moses. I mean, this is, of course, um, I'm finding, I, I ha I'll actually put a video again below, I have it in another video, that the interpretation is correct and um, there's confirmation through other Christians and um, of course I have a theological book with lots of doctors in the front that confirm a few a few of these or a lot, I would say almost all of the uh, typology uh, so why would we have to write books that have all these doctors and PhDs I should say PhDs um, in the front <laughs> if you don't need to be an expert, or you don't need, you know, a, a, a knowledge word, or the whole, the spirit of knowledge, or, like, if it wasn't that important, then anybody and everybody can write a book on it. So, I'm very much confused as to what people think the whole following of Christ is. Um, I know it confused me in the past, because if I had a tick, I, I should say, an app back in the day, um, I don't know if all of it would be Christ oriented. I don't think um, if Jesus were to open up the app of my heart, if he would see him 
be in the centerpiece, uh, you know, with a peppering or sprinkling of me, or if it would be mostly about me and what I look like and how, you know, I don't know. I, I don't... <laughs> Listen, <laughs> I struggle with a few things, and um, I and the spirit, like I, I've said in other videos, the spirit every holy week puts a, I guess you could say, a stone in my tummy, and I'm I'm, I think the word is forced to to fast, where my eating habits change, what I crave changes, just like if you're pregnant, this this is what happens, and uh, so the spirit really does push these things on you you know, because it's part of being a representative, and it's one of these things happen to be my way, and I do struggle with it. I feel spiritually like, um, like a ninja with like an eight pack, but I'm, but I don't have a six pack, <laughs> so, uh, I'm being funny, but, um, but it, you know what it does, it, this app, I've noticed with these Christians, uh, my fellow Christians, doing these wonderful skits have really added a lot of levity to, um, being a Christian, and I, you know, that's that's part of the that's one of the fruits of the spirit is joy. So I think I was missing that too. So I'm Linda of Christ is King forever. I feel like there it is. That's the one. Dmx. So I <laughs> I am somebody, and I might appear to be that so, but I am somebody who's a huge fan and have been a fan not not as much anymore, but in the past was a fan of '90s hip hop and rap. I actually did enjoy at one time uh, gangster uh, rap. And um, even I even knew some rare, you know, additions, rare, rare, rare songs of Tupac that's, that you would never, you never heard before, but I, I actually know and have owned a few of them. And um, I'm not going to go on about, but I, I, I've heard recently that, see, there I go, talking about me, um, DMX, uh, sadly, is in the hospital because of a heart attack, and he has low brain function, and I'm very, very sad about it. He has 15 children. I'm very grieved in the spirit over that. Um, I feel very sad for his family. Um, I, if you've ever watched anything on him, you know he, he's gone through a spiritual journey. And uh, it's always it, it was part of what influenced me to want to know more about uh, Christ and the differences between Jehovah's Witnesses and whatnot. And again, this isn't about judgment of any branch of the uh, church. This is about a family who's struggling right now and about how... You know, I'm, I'm just, and I actually spent one morning crying over it because I'm just so sad. Anyhow, I'm, I like to pray in Jesus Christ's precious name over TMX and his family. And about what they're going through right now. I pray you be with them and you give them peace. <clears throat> I pray for all the str struggling families right now that are going through things. Um, Yeshua, I pray that people will come to you yeah, with this COVID issues, mental issues. I pray that they come to you and they come to know you because you can help them overcome all these things in Yeshua's precious name. I pray for healing of DMX's family and for your will to be done in Yeshua's name. I ask forgiveness of all your sins. Of all my sins, Yeshua, of all my sins. Um, of all our sins. And you being perfect, you being holy, Yeshua. We love you. We worship you. We honor you in Yeshua's precious name. Please be with us. Please give us peace. Amen. <laughs>